Alright, so hey guys, so welcome to another Warframe video, and today I want to check out the Simulor line of weapons, more specifically the Sinoid Simulor, which is the stronger one, because they got changed in the last patch. Again. So the way the weapon works now is you still fire the small balls, but they now explode much much faster, and if you fire at least two of them in the same sort of area, they will form into a vortex, which now has a new visual effect. Now you were previously able to have many of these vortexes up at any given time, but this has now been limited to three. And once you have three of these vortexes up, you'll only be able to fire one shot at a time and you have to wait for the shot to explode to fire another one. Now the vortexes will eventually explode on their own, though it does take quite a while and they still do AoE damage around them. And by the way, you still detonate the vortexes with the secondary fire button. Now even though detonating your vortexes was already pretty important after the last change done to the simulator, this makes it even more important. Now on top of all of that, they also buffed the damage of the simulars quite a bit. They increased the stacking damage on the standard simulor from 20 to 50 and on the synoid from 20 to 80. And they increased the vortex detonation damage from 75 to 100 on the standard simulor and from 75 to 240 on the synoid simulor. And finally, they increased the number of orbs you need to fire into a vortex to fully stack it up from 3 to 4. Now this is the build that I'm currently running on the Sinoid Simulor and I decided to go non-crit because I don't like aiming the outsides with the Simulor so that takes out Argon Scope and if you only put on point strike your crit is 35% which leads to very spiky and unreliable damage. I also didn't invest too heavily into status because the tick rate on vortexes especially if you have a few of them stacked up is very high so you broke a lot of status and it also allows me to take advantage of 90% elementals for more damage. And finally I'm also running Prime Shred but Normal Shred is gonna be just fine and this is for the fire rate so that I can stack the vortexes faster but also for the punch through so that the orbs don't bounce off of enemies as I'm firing it. But the setup is not set in stone so feel free to experiment. So how does the Sidoid Tubular perform now? Well with this setup Pretty good actually. The damage over time you get from the vortexes, especially if you stack few of them up, is really good and the detonation damage of the vortexes when you blow them up with the secondary fire is really high as well. So that's kind of nice, right? But single target damage isn't really what the simulator was known for now, was it? No it was not. It was known for its ability to absolutely decimate low level missions and just, you know, overall being a really good weapon for blasting through stuff. So is it good at that again? Well, the playstyle is a little bit different because you now have to detonate your vortexes or you can't fire full auto, but yeah, it's actually really good at that again, especially when you combo it with a good old Mirage. Is it as good as it used to be? Well, I honestly don't know because it's been a while since we were in the golden days of the Simulor and there's also been quite a bit of power creep introduced into the game since the golden days of Simulor, so I honestly don't know. But what I do know is that once you adjust to the new playstyle where you have to detonate your vortexes, you can blast through stuff really fast. So if you've shoved the Simulor after the initial wave of changes or you've never picked up the Simulor, you might want to give it a shot because it's actually pretty nice now. And that is pretty much it for the video, so I thank you very much for watching, as always guys, I hope you've enjoyed it and I will see you some other time, bye bye.